we think that this 2013 our global growth projection is around 2.5 percent slightly lower but I think although the risk is now dissipated still they see that the uncertainty coming from a prolonged adjustment process in the Europe still a recovery in United States but it's not really picking up well and also a mix of the China adjustment process with a new level of growth which is below 8%. I think that is something which is for the market and the economy is now adjusting with that level. Good news, for example, like the Jap Japanese economy now is moving uh, with a new confidence with this package of policy. So we will see. It's going to be many of the uh, developing countries in Asia, in fact, actually uh, growing quite fast outside China. As you said, Japan is the bright spark, but given that it is debasing its currency, could that result in friction with trading partners like China, for instance? Well, the policy adopted, uh, which is a three-pronged approach in this case, the monetary policy, which is expanding or doubling the, the supply of money, expanding fiscal uh, spending, and then the structural reform is a necessary for Japan to revive growth. There is a short-term consequence of that one. Certainly the, uh, the value of yen uh, depreciation is quite significant if you compare last year around this date. Um, and that affects especially country, not only China, South Korea, Taiwan, which is producing almost similar product uh, with Japan is going to be that. Another good side of this is actually country like Philippines, Thailand is actually enjoying this benefit because the electronic and automotive is picking up. Japan is doing exactly what the G20 has told China not to do repeatedly. What's to stop China now from having a weaker yuan? I think yuan is no longer become the, the focus. I mean, for China, the focus is really more how they shift their growth model from the external driven inv invest investment based uh, growth into more domestic driven which will require a different policy set of reform and that is the challenge and that's why you see that uh, the problem is no longer become the currency policy it's really more how smooth the adjustment process in China because everybody knows the second largest economy anything happened to that economy is going to affect the rest of the world and that's why all countries in the world have the stake uh, to actually see how China will adjust their policy toward more sustainable domestic demand driven growth. I want to touch on the US, the Fed's plan to taper off QE do you think that is the right move? I think the trend is so obvious. Uh, when the recovery is becoming stronger and sustainable, the policy makes at the macro level, which in the past suitable to boost the recovery, need to be adjusted. And that's just a matter of timing. Whether it's going to be this year, whether it's going to be next year, how fast, how deep, uh, I think it's going to be like something which is uh, require another set of cycle of observation of the indicator uh, in the economy.